Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing the Dell XPS 15. So this is the 2018 model. Guys, I'm this is this is a powerful PC. So I've described the XPS 15 series as that perfect combination of portability and performance because it's you th there aren't a lot of regular consumer PCs that that use an, uh, an H series processor and that's uh, Intel's 45 watt mobile mobile processor that's um, uh, high performance. Usually you find them in gaming PCs, workstations. Um, there aren't a lot of just regular consumer ultrabooks. So I reviewed last year's. It had, um, you know, a Core i7, 8 Series, Quad Core. Uh, the seventh gen processors were Quad Core. Now they're Hexa Core. And now it goes up to Core i9. So this should be the Core i9 model. And we're going to get this out. So if I recall correctly, uh, Dell's packaging is a little strange. And we're going to open this up because it, there should be a, there's a box in here, right? And we're just going to pull this out. As you can see, it does come in one of those nice boxes that you often find consumer laptops come in. But also in here is the charger and such. And that, that just to me is always a little weird because usually mo most companies that, that have that uh, consumer box they put the charger in there but inside this box we're just gonna have the laptop you can see it uses a pin charger and sadly it doesn't ship with the usb uh type c charger and the reason for that by the way is because as you can see over here it's 130 watt charger so i don't believe that usb type c can handle that kind of power you should also be able to charge it with the usb type c ports that are included but unfortunately uh it won't charge as fast Okay, so let's get this guy open. And here we have it. The design is really not changed. Um, there are usually some other colors available, but in general, you have that sort of gray metallic color on top, uh, black sides, made of aluminum. Okay, and you can see it's fairly heavy. And by the way, you can see that there's nothing else in this box except some paperwork. And when I say that it's fairly heavy, I mean that it's about four pounds. So heavier than your average Ultrabook, but considering the amount of power that's included, um, it's it's pretty light. So we can open this up, and we're going to see that it has a real keyboard. Okay, and that, that might not sound impressive, but it is. And by the way, it does have the Core i9, and I'm so pumped for that, you don't even know. Um I actually have the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1 with me today as well. And one thing about this is that you can see that that the keys are very shallow on that. And they use they use magnets to make it feel like a real keyboard. Honestly, I don't think it really works for them. But the thing is, it's very easy to get used to after a time. The only problem is that you can use this keyboard and go back to your regular PC and then... Once you go back to this keyboard again, you have to get used to it again. So I prefer just having a regular keyboard like this. So there are big differences between between these machines, right? And this is updating Windows over here. We can start booting this up. But there are big differences between these two machines. Uh, one is that this is a convertible. This is a clamshell laptop. That's the simplest part, right? So the specs that are included in here, you see it says i7 8th gen and that it's <laughs> these are both H series processors, but they're different H series processors. So, like I said, the new H, the new forty five watt processors are uh, hexa core, and that's really just the i seven and the i nine. The the i five I believe is still quad core, but anyway, this uses KB Lake G. KB Lake G is actually. It's actually the same as KB Lake, right? Which was the seventh generation 45 watt processors, and um, it's it has an AMD Radeon GPU on the die. So you have a four gigabyte GPU in this, and it allows for these thinner and lighter form factors, which is fantastic. But the clamshell just offers more power. Um, that's generally the trade off that you're making. I like this con convertible form factor. I like uh, taking handwritten notes with the pen and stuff like that, but if you want that extra power, you've got the Dell XPS 15 clamshell. So, 
This thing has a 4K display. It looks stunning. Um, very narrow bezels around the side. And that's to give you an immersive experience. So as you can see, the webcam still plays below the display. And I've asked Dell about that. And I, I, I always kind of look at them like, come on, guys. Why, why is the webcam still below the display? And they, they kind of look at me and they go, well, when was the last time you used your webcam? And I say, well, never. You know, I, I, or, or how often do you use your webcam? And never. And really, I, I think most most consumers don't use their webcam much, right? For video calls, we're probably using our phones and tablets. And so they're, they're giving us this immersive experience with the narrow bezels rather than putting the webcam on top. And the webcam is there if you need it. It's a very awkward angle. Um Oh god! All these all these apps. Does it have McAfee on it? No McAfee. That's a big plus for Dell. I can't stand McAfee. Um, it's the first thing I do is uninstall McAfee on new PCs. But yeah, so we're going for the, for the immersive experience uh, rather than the webcam experience. The webcam is there if you have it. Uh, Dell Mobile Connect. This just came up. So this is a pretty cool. Um, this is a pretty cool app from Dell. It allows you to send and receive texts, make and receive calls uh, from your PC. It works with, with iOS and Android. And the only problem is last time I used it, I stopped using it for this very reason because I was using it with an iPhone. And you have to actually you have to actually have your iPhone awake and have this app open on your phone in order to send a text from your iPhone. So I mean I'm I'm gonna try it out again because it might be different because if you if you try that, like HP has one called WorkWise, and it looks almost exactly the same as this. So clearly, it's a third party developer that's making this app, and it's being licensed to these OEMs. Now, HP actually has a feature that that allows you to type in your phone's PIN into the app, and then it will actually wake your phone for you, unlock it, launch the app, send the text, and then close the app for you. So I'm hoping that Dell has added a feature like that since the last time I used it. We also get an in, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 1050 Ti GPU. That's an upgrade from last year's uh, 1050. Both of them have four, four gigabytes of graphics memory. And it's, again, it's the same thing on the, on the two-in-one that has that AMD Radeon with four gigabytes graphics memory. And by the way, I love the performance of the XPS 15 two-in-one. I think this machine is fantastic. And But this is just going to be the workhorse machine, right? I'm going to be able to play games on here. Um, another thing, and by the way, you can see how beautiful the display is. Keyboard's very nice. Feels premium. Feels feels uh, precise, right? Clickable track trackpad. And But ultimately, the design is, is the same as the two, which is not, not surprising. So let's look at ports, though, because this is a big deal. All right, we have on this side, we have um, USB type A. We have an SD card reader. All right, and then on this side, we have another type A port. We have Thunderbolt 3 HDMI, um, 3.5 millimeter uh, combo audio, and that pin charging port. Now, if we take a look at the XPS 15 2 in 1 over here, we have a micro SD card slot, uh, two USB type C ports over here, and then on this side, where I'm actually charging it, uh, we also have two USB type C ports. Now those and and we also have the 3.5 millimeter combo audio. So um, we don't have any USB type A on the two and one. Uh, now out of those four type C ports, two of them are Thunderbolt 3 and two of them are USB 3.1 Gen 1 or maybe Gen 2, but uh, only two of them are Thunderbolt 3. So we have the Thunderbolt 3 over here, but only one. Um, and, we, and then we have a couple type A ports. We have HDMI. We pretty much have everything. That, we have a, a diverse array of ports, and that's always helpful on a PC. I know, like, and I talk to companies about this, and I talk to Lenovo about um, a PC that, that used to have two type A ports and now has one. They say, well, what do you really need this for? And, like, it's not really about that because 99% of the time I probably don't need any ports. Um, half a percent of the time I need it for maybe a mouse or a USB drive. And then like, there's a very small percentage of the time that I need a second USB type a port. And when, when that time comes, it's helpful that this, this, you know, machine that costs a couple thousand dollars can do what I needed to do when I need to do it. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the XPS 15. Again, this is a 2018 model. 
Um, H series processors, four gigabyte GPU, eighth gen H series processors, not to be confused with the, the other eighth gen H series processors. So like to go over that again, last year had seventh gen H, H series processors. Those are 45 watt quad core. Uh, and then they had the dedicated NVIDIA graphics. That was last year's clamshell. And I reviewed that and I loved it. Then we had the two in one, which was KB Lake G, which is something the first of all, the two in one is entirely new. So there was no previous generation. And KB Lake G is something entirely new from Intel. We've never seen dedicated graphics, let alone de- dedicated AMD Radeon graphics um, on an Intel chip. So that's what that is. And now these are the, the new H series processors, way more powerful than, than those previous H series processors. Because remember, those those KB Lake G chips are like seventh. It's, it's like the same processor that was in the last XPS fifteen plus um, AMD Radeon built into the chip. So now it's hexacore. It has that boost that's built into the Core i nine. I am so pumped for this machine. Like, like it's got this is the the powerhouse that that I want because I don't. You know, I think a lot of us don't want to carry around gaming laptops and workstations. Like I want to put this in my bag. Laptops for me are for work on the go where I use my desktop at home. So this will be easier to carry than a gaming PC that's, you know, close to twice as thick and and weighs, you know, one and a half times as much, you know, if we're lucky. You know, a six-pound gaming laptop is actually pretty light. They can go up to like 10 pounds, and they can get pretty thick, like to the point where you can't even fit them in a regular bag. So if you want the power in an Ultrabook form factor that's, you know, a consumer device, this is it. If you want that two in one form factor, like if, if you want to be able to mark up photos, sign your PDFs in Edge, and, um, you know, take handwritten notes or draw with a pen. So that's where the two in one comes in. This is a powerful machine. I actually love it. I don't love the keyboard. So I'm, I'm really psyched for this. Anyway, guys, I'll have a review in a few weeks. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night. 